To the surprise of no one, the Hudson County Democratic Organization selected Assembly Speaker Vincent Prado as their chairman for the fourth year in a row last night. After the party, which had about 75 people in attendance, approved keeping Prado in his chair, a resolution passed to have HCDO's leadership voted on biannually instead of annually. Prado then thanked everyone for their continued support, saying it was with great pride and pleasure to continue to chair the local Dems, before calling for an ally in trend after the 2017 governor's race. We're going to go into really uh, tough times next year because we have a governor we need to elect, and Hudson County has to be a leader in the forefront to make sure we elect a Democrat. And it's going to be a Democrat that's going to go through this organization, and we're going to have a say on who is going to be in that executive branch office that at this point in time, I get to fight with the guy there. I want to be have a friend there. So we're going to do our work. And again, for me, I want to thank each and every one of you for letting me be able to at least steer the ship in the right direction. For the fourth year in a row, which doesn't happen off of being the chair, your thoughts on that for the HCDO here? Well, I feel, you know, extremely proud and honored to have been elected, you know, for a fourth term. This was probably something that I figured I'd do maybe for a term, maybe two at most, but obviously, uh, in Hudson County, we're united, we're working together, and as I said, with all 12 mayors, with the county executive, and all the elected officials to make the quality of life of Hudson County better, and also to show that Hudson is united, so Hudson then is strong, and uh, we just did a great showing in the primary for the presidential. Uh, our plurality it was immense, and going into a gubernatorial next year, um, the governor's uh, race and the governor uh, uh, office will come through Hudson County. Uh, any details you could tell me as far as uh, Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fuller possibly announcing possibly the campaign trail starting? Anything on that front for now? Yeah, that, you know, right now there, you know, there's, uh, uh, I think there's one candidate, I guess, that has declared. You know, uh, Mayor Fuller, uh, whatever he decides to do, has a bright future. And obviously uh, Hudson comes first. So I look forward to whatever he, he's going to do. And But it, for that question, that's something you'll have to ask him at this point in time. Also retaining their posts in the ACDO were Diane Colbert as vice chair, Alex Habib as recording secretary, and Barbara Stamato as treasurer. I'm John Hardis with the Hudson County View, the Eye of the Community.